you so much for being here. Wow, it's great. It's such a cool venue. Isn't this a great venue? It's amazing. Well, thank you so much for coming out. It's uh, it totally is just just an honor to be here. I'm happy to be back with the with a new album, and it's an album called Grand Ukulele. And I'm really excited about this project because I got to work with one of my heroes. This album was produced by the great Alan Parsons, and. Uh, I gotta tell you, working with Alan was a dream come true for me because, you know, I mean, he recorded the Beatles and he recorded Dark Side of the Moon. And so I joke around with him now and I tell him, hey, Alan, now you got your very first Alan Parsons ukulele project. <laughs> but, uh, but it was great working with him in the studio. You know, he, uh, we recorded most of the album in, uh, in uh, California and Nashville. And he just brought in an incredible cast of musicians. I mean, we worked with the Nashville Symphony. Um, you know, a whole full orchestra. Um, he brought in guys like Kip Winger, Simon Phillips, one of my favorite drummers, and Randy Tico, and, and it was just like just an awesome experience for me. So I'm happy to be on the road touring the album and playing songs up, uh, playing songs off of the new record. And I'd like to continue with this one. This is actually the first song that I wrote for the album, and it's a song that I wrote by accident because uh, I happened to be changing my strings one day, and uh, and I was missing the third string. So I put on the other three strings and I remember thinking to myself, wouldn't it be cool if I could write a song with just three strings? So I started noodling around with the three strings and, uh, and I wrote this piece and I called Alan and I said, hey Alan, what do you think of this? And I played it for him and he said, wow, Jake, I, I love it, it's absolutely gorgeous. But then he said, I can hear an entire orchestra behind the ukulele on this song. And I had mixed feelings about the orchestra in the beginning because I was so proud of the fact that I could play the song with just three strings. But now on the album, there's a full orchestra, so there's over a hundred strings now in the song. <laughs> but tonight, since the orchestra couldn't make it, um, I'd like to play for you the original three-string version, and this is a piece entitled Missing Three. <laughs> 